Hey guys, so today we're going to review the Dark Barbaric King. Uh, this uh, first video here is just going to be all skills, and then we're going to talk about some runes. We're going to do the skills review, uh, skills and runes on this video, and then next video we're going to do a little gameplay on a specific uh, rune build. We're going to use uh, Pan Katir's uh, bees, uh, Dark Barbaric King, so big thank you to Pan Katir for allowing me to use their Dark Barbaric King in the next video. So yeah, the Dark Barbaric King, let's start out with its uh, leader skill, Resistance of Ally Monsters, is increased by 40% in guild battles, so, okay. Next, we'll have Penalty, attacks enemy twice with the axe and inflicts continuous damage for one turn with a 50% chance. Very good first skill there. Uh, next is Axe of Punishment, throws an axe at all enemies and stuns them for one turn with a 40% chance for each attack and for uh, reusable in four turns. Finally, Frenzy, enrages and attacks an enemy target. You instantly recover a turn and prevent this attack from going on cooldown with a 25% chance. When this attack is on cooldown, your attack speed increases and, re and you recover 10% HP every turn. Wow. I love all the skills on this guy, to be honest. First of all, the first skill, uh, you get to attack twice, and each it has a 50% each time to do continuous damage. Second skill being you get to um, AoE, and then you get to attack, well, you get 40% uh, chance to stun. And then this third skill is absolutely crazy. Frenzy. You get to, you recover a turn, first of all, and you have a 25% chance that you get to use this uh, this um, skill again, so that is crazy. Uh, once attack is on cooldown, your attack speed increases, and you recover 10% HP every turn. Now let's talk about some runes. For your two sets here, first of all, let's talk about uh, Swift and Violent first. This is basically, you want to get as many turns off as possible. This will most likely be used for attack percent, attack percent, attack percent, unless you want to do attack percent, crit damage, and attack percent for your um, good crit rate substats there. And then to go along with that, you can do Focus and Revenge. Focus because of the accuracy, because you want to get some dots and that stun rate. Basically, a lot of this, what this monster skill have to do is with chance, so you need to some accuracy in there and revenge because this first skill has a chance for some dots so we want to use some revenge maybe and then for just a straight up attacker you can always go for a rage or a fatal rage is you know if you have crazy crazy crit rates and you can uh, crit a lot and then you want to just have some crit damage on your force slot that way the attack will be crazy and then you can go with Fatal if you're like me, you do not have good rage, um, or not good rage, you don't have good crit rate substats on any of your rage runes. Uh, then you could go for Fatal, and then you can do attack percent from there on your 2, 4, and 6. Along with Rage, uh, rage or Fatal, you can do Blade. That way you can get some crit rate uh, some crit rate up, or you can do focus for the continuous damage and stun rate. So this guy is pretty much just awesome. If you do have him, please don't get rid of him. Not like you'd even think about getting rid of him. He's a natural four star dark monster. But yeah, he's got the chance for dots here, which is absolutely amazing. Then we got the chance to stun all enemies, which is great. And then we have the uh, a chance to ignore the cooldown. Yeah, we'll show I'll show you that in the next video. So stay tuned for the gameplay video. Uh, thank you guys for watching this review if you do have the dark barbaric king i'd like to see your opinion down below but uh thank you guys for watching i'll be back with the gameplay uh stay tuned for more reviews if you'd like to see more reviews check out my channel uh feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to see more but thank you guys and have a good day